down through my vents and pens. Oh, they're pacing back and forth. There's a CC partridge over there. But we can't see them from here, it's too far away. Those are pretty birds, but every time I go near them, they explode. Same with these Bensons. All these desert quail are real nervous birds. Well, I got five pair of them, and there's four wild caught birds in this stock, so I'm hoping to produce some, a bunch of them this year because they're pretty expensive and I, I can make some money. Couple new pens I built last fall. Padded the tops and designed them for Murren's quail. But I happen to have a pair of Bensons in one of them right now, but they're gonna have to be moved pretty soon. Make room for all the young Murrens that I raised this year. And there's that feisty rooster again, and an old puffball, and a white rat, and yeah, the double deckers. Yeah, it's just a Small hobby farm, but it's a good hobby. Make a little bit of money too. Yeah, it looks kind of cluttered right now. Getting ready to go lobstering. Yeah, I got a lot of projects going rigging rope, painting buoys, trying to soak up my skiff. Got a pine boards on the bottom and they haven't swelled shut yet and run the garden hose to them and the last three boards toward the stern are still weeping. Hopefully they'll finish swelling up tonight and put it in the water. This pile's got to be washed and scrubbed and sanded. And those are new ones, all painted over there. I've got to weight the bottoms of them and number them. I don't want to look in the garage, it's a cluttered. Straighten it out after I'm done all this project. There's the railroad spikes I used to weight the bottoms with. Duct tape them on, works pretty good. You wouldn't think it'd stay on, but it does. You only have to replace one or two. No, she is. Yeah. A, some partially done. I got the red on them. Paint the other two colors. But if I do say so, they look better than anybody else's buoys I know. A lot of people don't even tape their lines and then runs and drips and mist spots and they paint right over dirt and growth. And do a terrible job, so you know, this doesn't look too bad after all. Now it's neater out here because I don't have anything going on. Just mowed the lawn, got some bantam roosters up in there, and some plant pots and some wire. And, you know, good enough to put them in right now. And an old cemetery on the property. Some people might think it's creepy, it doesn't bother me any. Mm. Got a lot of wildflowers, some daisies.
nice back deck to sit out on in summer. Look down at my, my big view. I used to have a garden there, but the deer keep getting it, so it's at the hell of most of it. Bird feed up in the tree there. Winter birds. Not many around this year. Yeah, I got some flower gardens out back here. There's down below. That's where I build my traps in the winter down the cellar here. And Take them out through the door, stack them out in the yard. Got a generator, propane generator that comes on the power. To lose the power. That comes in handy. And one of the one of the flower gardens. Pretty nice looking. Things are coming up. Got a hummingbird feeder over there. Right up here, we got a little fly catcher nest. Might be hiding in it. Think she's setting on some eggs. Might even have some babies under it. I don't know. Plus I'm taking this movie and there's usually hummingbirds all over the place, but of course now that I'm taking this there's none. Yeah. Looking at it from down the other way. Yeah, I go down to this flower garden. Got a narrow dirt road and I bought this place. It was only about six people year-round a few camps up there for summer jerks and now uh, of course they're building clear-cutting and logging it and taking loads of trees out of there to beat hell and ruining the whole place and get traffic up and down here all day long bunch of assholes most of them flying up and down here about 50 miles an hour Yeah, I got a, another good, pretty good sized flower garden out here. Yeah, I just mowed this morning, took the weed whacker out, so it's mowed down pretty nice. Uh, the other house and the old cemetery. Pretty nice piece of property, five acres. A lot of it's wooded. But different types. Flowers, some haven't flowered out yet. Got a lot of irises, but they won't come up till later. Hostas and yeah, look, bumblebee on those flowers. Yeah. Scared them off, of course. Yeah, here it is, 1st of June, and the lupin's starting to blossom out. Not quite all there yet, but looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Well, I guess that's a pretty good tour for now.